Hello everyone. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say Happy New Year to all of you. And I pray that you will all have an amazing year filled with blessings and lots of joy. Um, as most of you know, I grew up in Romania before moving here to England when I was nine. And since I was born, I've been surrounded by Christians. My family comes from a Christian background, and so I thought that I was also a Christian. I went to church every Sunday. I prayed every day. I read my Bible every day. I did all these things that every other Christian around me was doing, which made me believe that I was one as well. However, thinking back now, that wasn't the case. I don't think you can be a Christian just because your parents are Christian or because you go to church every Sunday. Deciding to follow Jesus and to put your trust in him is a very personal decision that you yourself must make and that no one else can do for you. Anyway, my attitude towards Jesus as a child was also a very neutral one. I've always heard of him and learned through Sunday school of all the miracles he performed. And I knew that on Christmas, we celebrated his birth and on Easter, his resurrection. But still, I didn't really know just how significant and how life-changing knowing him can be. I then got older and as a child, I had a very normal lifestyle where I mainly focused on school and having as much fun as possible. However, as I grew up and then moved here to England, I began to care less and less about my relationship with Jesus. I didn't read my Bible as much as I used to and going to church was only, some fi was only another opportunity for me to hang out and mess around with my friends. Now fast forward to when I became a teenager, I became more independent, which meant that I wanted to fit in with my non-Christian friends at school. This led on to a bad vocabulary and picking up some regrettable actions, which became habits and after a while addictions. This was when I realized that something needed to change or else they can get a lot worse. At that time, I felt like a hypocrite when coming to church or trying to give advice to others and help them, knowing all my brokenness and failures. As a result, I had a very guilty conscience, meaning that even my relationships with the people closest to me were affected. What was worse was that I found it too embarrassing to talk to anyone about it because I didn't want other people to find out what my issues were. Even so, this gave me the motivation to change. And so I tried many ways of turning away from what I was doing, but all of them failed. However, one day I decided to start reading this book, which I got from doing beach missions called Free to Be Me, written by Tim Hawkins. And through that book, I came to realize that the only way for me to escape this shameful way that I was living in was through believing and trusting in Jesus. So, after finishing the book, I prayed. And in that prayer, I asked God for forgiveness and for the power to be able to repent. In that moment, I felt really happy and relieved in a way. I truly felt forgiven. As I was praying, I remember promising God that I will not fall into temptation again. And yet, there have still been moments when I lost this battle with myself and I failed. But knowing Jesus makes all the difference. Because of his death on that cross, all the sins I've committed are taken care of. Because of his death on that cross, when God looks at me, he doesn't see a failure. He sees Jesus. This is what makes me full of joy and melts my heart at the same time. How can someone so perfect die in the place of someone so flawed and imperfect? It just shows me how much God loves and cares for me. And now, I'm here today to be baptized. And I want my baptism to be like an announcement in a way, declaring my love and trust and faith in Jesus. And through my baptism, I want to show everyone that Jesus is my savior. And I want it to be an encouragement to others to learn more about who he is, hoping that they too can experience his love. If you allow me, I'd also like to say a few words to those back home in Romania who couldn't be here today. Um, but I'm watching the live stream on, on Zoom. Um, vă mulțumesc pentru rugăciunile și educația pe care mi-ați dat-o. Au jucat un rol important în maturizarea mea, dar vreau ca în continuare să mă susțineți cu rugăciuni. Simon, let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. <laughs> So that makes me John the Baptist and you Jesus. <laughs> What's it say about humility? No, I'm joking. <laughs> that was amazing. And it's a joy to get Dan Senior to come and join us, uh, who is going to baptize uh, his son, who we couldn't think of an original name for um, right now. Let's go. Dan, a verse for you from Ephesians 2. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. 
and this not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Căci prin har ați fost mântuiți, prin credință și aceasta nu vine de la voi, ci este darul lui Dumnezeu, nu prin fapte ca să nu se laude nimeni. Dan, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he died to save you from your sin? I do. Do you turn from your sin and promise to follow him day by day, obeying him as Master and Lord? I do. So, on confession of your faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.